Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you a fun card made with the Chevron uh, Border Punch. And this was in the holiday catalog and it got pushed back in the occasion catalog. It's on page 28. And it's, I call it the Jumbo Punch. It's a big one. And I learned to do this lattice from uh, Connie Collins, I think, if I remember right. And I had that on my desk forever, so let's get started. Uh, I did this card here, that I, this was with the chocolate chip. So I'm going to show you um, today with a black one. I think it's what's going to show better on the camera. I still have embossing powder here because that was just the video I just finished. What you're going to do, I like to do my strip a little bit longer than my card because it's easier to um, put together. So I'm using uh, the strip that you're going to need. You're going to need two of them and it is one and a quarter wide and then this is eight and a half so I cut the strip eight and a half by one and a quarter you're going to need two of them I start right at the edge here it did it even if it's not just the same it's okay because like I said we're going to have extra space to play with and I got another video on this here um, how to match your uh, chevron and all I'm going to put the then information on my blog with this card. So let's get started. I'm starting right at the edge here. Punch and then let's keep on moving. And when you go, you match your silver with your opening. See? So I match my silver with your opening. Here we go. Make sure you push all the way against the edge. And then I got one more place for one more there. Oops, silver. Remember, it's the silver you have to see through your chevron. Okay, now that we got this, you can save this and put that on another card, whatever. Now that we got this, and I pre-done the other one here, what you're going to do is put them one on top of each other, just like this. You see the crisscross there? and just push a little bit more so the points are on top of each other and the reason why it's going to make it a lot easier you just push your little thing up or down up and down this the one under go up and the one on top down and you hear that click there here I get it's too close so I pull okay now we can leave it just the way it is and mount it and we would have that lattice too but I'm gonna go a little bit more than this what you can do is take the bottom and the top and then you can move let me here we go see Okay, now I have to push the other way. This one needs to come. See, so now I can pull and go bigger. So it depends the pattern that you want to do. So you can do any pattern, you know, that's going to allow you to uh, push back and forth. So the only thing, you take the bottom one and then the top one. My hand don't want to go there. Here we go. And then, look, you move it. Now I have to take the top one and then the bottom one, move it the other way. This is it, my friend, how you're going to move them. So I want it about like this, this one. So what I'm going to do, um, I use the Celebration paper and this is the Petal Parade 2 from Celebration. I thought to put this, but now this don't look good. And we're going to take... I take uh, my silicone mat. I think that this is the best friendly thing when you put glue. The piece that you want in the back of your lattice. You can put it directly on your card if you want, but I like to put a piece that would look lovely too. I like to um, 
and put it another color there especially I'm going to have this one and get the so saffron here so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn this and I think this is pretty much the way that I want it so I'm going to take my snail and I'm going to put snail here and there another thing that for I don't want no chunk and you know what another thing that I know that for great you can take your uh, tumble glue because right now I get chunk here and I really don't want chunk because it's going to raise it up. Here we go. So I'm going to take the glue. Just make sure you're all equal there. Just me pull a tiny bit. Oh, not that way. I want the other way. You have to make sure to grab one the top and one in the bottom when you want to move them. Okay, I think that's what I want. So now what I'm going to do, oops, just do a little bit of glue here and there. So now it won't move after that you get your glue. It will not move. And I should have my piece of... Um, so saffron eight and a half long and I didn't so we're gonna I'm gonna reach another piece there and we're gonna cut ourselves a piece of eight and a half long by one and um, let me grab this here okay so we're gonna go at um, the black you want one and a quarter, but your mat in the back you want a little bit smaller. So just go the line above or one and one eight would be perfect. Here we go. So now I'm going to put this here. Put this here. Voila! This is it, my friend. Look how pretty it is. Oh, this is very striking. Okay, now to finish our card, what I would do, I would take, and I already pre stamp in the um, pistachio pudding, so saffron, and the happy birthday, it's from uh, Perfectly Pin It, and the flower that was a uh, petal parade. So now I get the DSP that I pre-cut here. That's the DSP from Celebration. I'm going to put that right here. And when I saw um, this DSP, I'm like, oh my, I need to do my lattice card that I got that since like October, I think, but didn't do it because I like the diamond shape. It's just like this. So now we're going to cut a strip for five and a half. So what we're going to do... I'm going to take this here and I'm going to cut right this at the edge. You have to give a good push because you get three layers really. So I don't have the bottom layers done so I'm just going to finish it with my scissors. Now go at five and a half. It's going to be right there. So let's remove this. And now you get a little strip that you can uh, put for something else, for another piece of card or whatever. The reason why I don't do just exactly the right side, because then you get a little bit more room to play with. Now I'm going to take this, put my snail. Put that right here. Voila, my friend. This is it, how you do your lattice uh, card. And like I said, though, you can do, uh, this was just the right size, and that's the one I'm like, ah, oh, I like to play with a little bit bigger. You can have a um, different uh, shape. I'm going to put this in the back so you can see better. So that's the one we got. See, now we get different pattern. Oh, now I went too much, so it's a part. So when you want to put it, just put it one on top of each other, that just barely that it touch, push up and down. See how easy it is? Up and down. That is it. Hope you learned something new. 
Till next time, happy stamping!